Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today, uh, we will be looking at five TSX stocks that I think you can hold forever. Uh, just let me know what you think about these stocks as well. The first stock that we would be looking at, bank stock, and it, they are diversified uh, uh, stocks that I have chosen. So the first one would be Royal Bank. And as you can um, know, Royal Bank, it's a financial service and it uh, does provide personal, commercial, wealth management service, insurance, investor service, capital market product and service uh, global wise. The company serves personal, business and public uh, and institutional clients in Canada and United States. The company's big business segment include personal, commercial banking, wealth management, insurance, investor, treasury service, capital market and corporate support. Uh, the company is through um, And the uh, company has, um, so through its segment, serves various line of business, which include personal financial service, business financial service, card, payment solution, and United States banking, Canadian wealth management, uh, United International wealth management, global asset, uh, Canadian insurance, international insurance, corporate investment banking, and global uh, market and others. And um, Royal Bank has the um, largest um, market cap here in Canada. It's 179 billion is the market cap. So I was just reviewing some of the analyst recommendations. Um, so it's um, a strong buy, um, it's a hold, and most analysts do see that it's an undervalued uh, um, stock at the moment so it's a underperforming uh, stock at the moment um, so it's a great stock to get in um, it's uh, a price at the moment as you can see it's 125 dollar and 86 85 cents 52 weeks high was 126 dollar and 90 cents most analysts predict it could be as high as 144 dollar um, by the uh, end of the year so there is a potential for growth on that stock. Um, and uh, shares in Royal Bank has gained about 1.3% um, in the uh, fiscal uh, second fis quarter fiscal of 2021, which was ending in April 31st. Um, and you, as you can see, um, most banks has witnessed revenue growth and lower provisions uh, with their stocks. And um, and uh, Royal Bank also does provide you a dividend, which is about 3.43%, so $1.08 per share. If you look at it annually, it's uh, $4.32. Their ex-dividend date is coming up on July the 23rd. Uh, so it's a great time to watch the stock for some dip. And when you notice something, then you can get into the stock. Um, it's not a great idea to wait for the dip. It's better to get in uh, earlier than later. So the cash uh, money can work for you. Uh, I was also looking at um, the bank uh, release uh, information. So the bank did release the second quarter 2021 result on May 27th. It does show a strong quarter for Royal Bank. Um, Canada's banking industry in general has gone up, as I said before. Uh, the net income uh, increased about 2.5 billion, which is about 171 percent oil and gas stock uh, from the Enbridge. prior years, which was only 4 billion in 20, uh, quarter two um, of 2021. Um, and um, Royal Bank, as you know, it's um, uh, it saw net uh, income um, about uh, 1.37. A billion. And, um, Enbridge is um, an energy infrastructure year to company this year being one that includes a network billion. of crude oil, um, liquid, and natural gas pipeline. 
its regulated natural gas distribution utilities and renewable power generation. It operates through five segments, which is liquid pipeline, uh, gas transmission, midstream, and their ex uh, gas distribution, on green May power, the and transmission. They do and provide you a dividend of 7.16%, um, so which is about 80, 0 0.835 cents per share. If you annualize it, it's about 3.34 Canadian. And if you look at the 52 weeks range, the the highest it has been is $49.13 on this 52 weeks high. And the previous close was $46 and um, 64 cents. So if I were to look at the five year chart for Enbridge, um, I can see back in 2016, 2017, it used to be close to $60. So I have a strong feeling it will go up to that amount uh, down the road. And according to the analyst, uh, most of the analysts does think it's an undervalued at the moment. Um, the fair price for the stock is about $52.05. And, um, and looking at some more information on Enbridge, Enbridge is currently has an earning rate rating of one, which is significantly more bearish than the oil and gas transportation industry, which is averaging about four. On 2021, May the 7th, the company also announced quarterly earning of 81 cents per share, a positive surplus, um, so price of 14.7% above um, the uh, consensus 0.71%. So over the last four quarters, the company reported has two positive and two negative and zero inline surprises. The average surprise of this line period is um, period has been 0.1%. So Enbridge is currently, um, current quarter estimate has remained relatively unchanged over the past 90 days at 0 0.57. Um, so it has moved, um, the industry average has moved to uh, 1% during the same time period. The next talk that we will be looking at is the telecom service, which is BCE.TO. And that one is the P.E. ratio is 24.40. The dividend on that is 0 0.875. So the yield, if you look at it, it's 5.7%. The um, 52 weeks range is uh, $52.52 to $60.50. The market cap on the stock is uh, $55 billion. The ex-dividend date is coming up on June the 14th. And, and the next we'll be looking at is gold ABX and that one trading at the moment around $29.24. And if you look at the 52 weeks range, it's from $23.49 to $40.85. So there is potential room for growth to get back to the 52 weeks range. Um, just don't base it based on that. Just do your research as well to see what the um, company is doing. But I think when stock market um, has inflations, the gold usually goes up when that happens. So that could be a, a bad balancing that you can do with the stocks. Um, the yield is 1.49, so you only get 0 0.09 cents per share. It does have a market cap of 52 billion. The ex-dividend date has passed on May the 27th. The next one that I like is um, insurance life. Um, so menu life, MFC.TO. And if you look at their P ratio, the ratio it's 9.53 times. They do provide you a dividend of $0.28 cents per share, which is about $4.41. And the uh, 52 weeks range, if you look at it, it's uh, $16.95 uh, to $27.67. Seven. It does have a market cap of $49 billion. Ex-dividend date has passed on May the 17th. Um, I have to do a detailed video, but due to timings, I didn't get the chance to do it. Um, if you like detailed information on a stock, just like how I did it at the beginning, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll uh, make sure that I get something like that out to you guys. Um, thank you so much for taking your time and tuning into my channel. Um, and um, if you like this channel, please don't forget to like it, subscribe it, and turn on those post notifications. If you also have family, friends who, think, who you think would 
would be benefiting from this channel, please let them know as well. Thank you for your time. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.